I'm fascinated with buildings from a certain era, um, at least in this country. In late 1800s to the turn of the century to say the 1930s, um, pre-war buildings. Just the craftsmanship and the role that they played in, in, in beautifying and making communities unique and special. People took great pride in building them, in creating downtowns, creating cities. They were a source of uh, community pride that doesn't exist in the same way today. I've always drawn since I was a kid, and I came from a family of artists. My grandmother and mother were both artists, and uh, we had a close family friend, Eldon Rowland, who spent summers with us at Cape Cod, and uh, every, every summer he had a different technique that he'd be trying out, and, and we'd all join in. He encouraged the kids, uh, me especially, to be involved. So it was just kind of a natural part of my family's life. I never thought I'd do it for a career, but things happen. Being an artist, you either win the lottery or you, you struggle. There's very few artists in between that are working middle class artists that make a living. So it was kind of instilled in me at a young age that it wasn't something that I would do for a career. So I went to school for, um, I studied political science and philosophy, and then I went to graduate school and was working on my PhD, probably to become a college professor. But I was living in New York City um, and going to Columbia at the time, and, and I, started, I started doing artwork as a part-time job. I was sick of being a waiter, and I thought, well, I have this ability, and, uh, and I marketed it, and I did a lot of work for, for local realtors, and developers and things like that, um, mainly pen and ink. For years I did nothing but pen and ink drawings. And then I started thinking, well, kind of the next step is to start painting. Selling and the business side of it is, has always interested me. And I think that that's been a key to be, being able to make a living as an artist. The majority of my business is commissioned artwork. I do a lot of paintings of historic houses throughout the Hudson Valley, Westchester County, the New York uh, metro area, also the Boston area, I do a lot of work there. Painting the scenes of Albany and local scenes is more of kind of, uh, more of, the, more of the side business. I never planned on moving to Albany, but uh, when I did, uh, uh, I was really taken by, for such a small city, a state capital, how monumental it was uh, architecturally and, and from uh, a pretty wide period of time. There was some really great examples from various different periods. Living in Albany, I drive and walk around the city on a daily basis, so I can appreciate things from different angles, different lights, different seasons and different, just I get different takes on, on, on a certain subject. And, and a lot of times it's not just a particular building. It is a streetscape. It is the proximity of, of one building to another and, and how they relate to each other. Occasionally I'll do a, a period piece. I recently did a, a, a painting of the uh, Albany waterfront before 787 and it showed the lagoon with the Albany Yacht Club and just uh, the New York Central Railroad Bridge and it was a whole different setting. And I used old photographs from the 1930s. As I said earlier, I, I, it was more happenstance that I ended up in Albany. But, but something kind of unexpected happened once I was here. And uh, living in a community of this size and being involved in local organizations um, gave me an opportunity to really become part of a community in a way that I never had before and connect with other artists and connect with, with customers too. People often, often look at my artwork and uh, they're impressed by how I make Albany look or the Capital Region look. They, they say, you make it look so beautiful as if I've enhanced it. Well, maybe I've enhanced the setting, but, but that's the reality that I see, and, uh, and people respond, and some people that aren't particularly familiar with, 
with the Capitol steps or downtown Albany views. And they might not right off the bat recognize a scene and ask me, you know, where in Europe that is and something like that. And, uh, and then I tell them where it is and they, they, they pause. And, uh, and I think for a moment they may realize that we have some really great beauty and some, some, uh, some a wonderful architectural legacy right here that uh, a lot of people don't fully appreciate.